Hey y'all, back with another DIY tutorial. I haven't been doing this for a while. Don't know why I got discouraged, but I am back. And today I am doing a DIY Halloween treat stand. Um, all you need to do is visit your local dollar store. I found most of all of my items from the dollar store. You can find trays, whichever trays they had um, options. I went with this one. It was purple. I went on and spray painted it black. Um, I got three of these. Two vases. You can choose however you wish for your vase to look. It don't have to be like this. This is optional to get these exact same ones. You would need two of these. I got three packs of these, but I only need two, again, at the dollar store. You will need glue sticks, glue gun. Red paint. Um, the dollar store do have this, but I got this for Walmart for 50 cents. Or you can use a red Sharpie. Of course, you'll need a paintbrush, scissors, and cockroaches if you wish. I went to Halloween Spirit. These was $5. Or you can use these. These was $2.99. But again, this stuff is in the dollar store. I didn't know because I went to Halloween Spirit first before I went to the dollar store. So I just didn't feel like taking a bath. Hey, I already had it. So I'm going to... These are optional. You can. You don't have to use this or you can. Um... Watch this video to see the finished product to see if you even want to do this route because it's really not needed. All right, so the first thing you want to do is spray paint. Okay, once you spray paint, it should look like this. If you can find these black, good. You don't have to spray paint anything. You can just skip that and let's get on and start. First thing we want to do is these are regular skeletons, dry boy. Remember I said you need the red. So you need the red because we're going to go ahead and paint the eyes. I already did a few, so it will look like this. So you can go ahead and paint your eyes. You want to do that first because you need to set it aside and let that dry. Okay, and then you no longer need the red paint anymore. You want to cut off all the extra that is not needed on the skeleton body. Like that. Keep this rope because, I mean, I keep everything. You might know not, not know what you need it for. And I'm basically freestyling. I didn't see anyone do this before. So whatever my brain decides to come up with, it come up with. I don't know. All right. So take that. I don't need this anymore. Take your tray and one of your vases. It should come with a sticker. Peel that off. as best as you can get it all. Take your glue gun and glue the bottom. Sorry y'all, the glue stick was not plugged up. Make sure your glue stick is plugged up. So what I was saying was, go ahead and glue the bottom And you also can use E6000 or Gorilla Glue Sticks. It will hold better. And you wanna go ahead and place that directly in the center. Add pressure. Turn it backwards. You wanna go ahead and add more glue around the web. If you have some sort of cardboard, we can make one. All right, so you want to make that into a circle just to place it right here to give it some support. Again, I told y'all I never did this before, so my brain literally just came up with this. All right, so you might want to go ahead and add some more glue onto here and just... 
put it directly like that. And that's just to give it some support. Just like that. Add pressure. You may feel a little heat. And it should look like that. See? We got one layer already done. Like this. Yes, that, that, that's fine. And you want to do that? Again, but this time we are not going to add a cardboard to the bottom for any support. If you want, you can, but I'm not going to because I know I will want to break this apart if I need to use these vases again for something because Halloween is only once a year. Okay, I'm trying to think. Do I want to? All right, actually, don't add. I'm not going to add the second. I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one so what i'm going to do is put hot glue gun onto the back of its spine and literally just stick it and i am going to stick it to where as though his foot is stepping on the vase rather than his head at the rim at the very tip so i'm going to kind of put it i'm going to kind of put it at the end rather than up there all right Again, make his legs look like he's walking. Play around with the head however you wish. And it looks like this. You can even get creative and make and just hot glue gun both of their all their arms together so it looks like they're all holding each other's hands. You can get very creative. Um, I might do that on a, using that one. So go ahead and add glue right here. And we're going to place it right over top like that. Oh, no, wait. I forgot, add your bugs. I'm gonna use spiders. I'm gonna use spiders and I'm just gonna put them in between the glass like that. Again, this part is optional. It's just decorating the glass so it doesn't look so plain. So I'm gonna continue decorating this to my liking. And once I do all of that and stop them from falling off, I'll come right. Okay, so my glue gun is tripping. You have to make sure that this thing is plugged up. It keeps coming out of the socket, which making me not being able to put enough glue onto what need to be glued. So I already decorated it to my liking. I also put a spider inside. You can put eyeballs inside. They have that at the craft store. I mean, at the Halloween store as well. And at the craft store. They got it at the craft store as well. Um, you will put water in it so that the eyeballs can float. And then put your skeletons around it. You'll decorate this to your liking. You do not have to copy off whatever it is that I'm doing. You can get creative your own way. So what we're going to go ahead and do is start on the second layer. Oops. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to use the paper. But we're going to need that for support. So the, the thing your skeleton comes on, it has a web at the bottom. Can you see? You want to go ahead and put this like this and trace around it and then cut it out. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut that out one more time. So you need two of them. Just place it like that. You'll need to. You want to go ahead and glue, glue the trim. Purple side facing up. Just like that. So far it should look like this. Now that second. second one is going to go directly over top of it like that so actually you can add glue all throughout here 
Make sure you add enough so this does not break apart. Directly in the center. Just like that. Add pressure so that it's catching. Okay. You want to add more glue throughout the top. Like that, in between the webs. And again, once you put your items in there, you will not see this. And because we're using web trays, it looks like webs inside of the bowl. So even if you see it, it'll be just fine. And I'm just adding enough glue so that that thing holds. And that's how it should be looking right now. I'm going to set that aside and work on my second vase. This time I'm going to stick and that's going to go directly in the center. I'm just adding pressure. That's pretty cool, that. The spiders that keeps falling off. Yeah, I highly recommend you guys use E6000 glue or Gorilla Sticks because these things keep popping off. And I'm just going to keep on re-gluing them until it decides to stay. Okay, that's the first and second layer. Lastly, alrighty, it fell off again. So how about you just get inside of there? Lastly is that. So we're going to glue this onto here and just like that, and that's the top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that is the finishing product if you want to get a little fancy you can take your you can take your spiders and actually add them to the edge you can make them look like they're crawling up the web i'm going to add a fruit onto the edge and show you guys the finishing product 